Okay, the next feature is the nesting tool. This feature comes in handy if you're wanting to get as much out of your cut surface and as many images as you can. So if you have a lot of images that you need to cut and get onto your 12 by 12 piece of paper or vinyl, this feature is super awesome. What you'll need to do is get all of your images. Say I need to make 10 of each of these. So I need to make 10 sets of this cloud image. I'm just going to right click and duplicate as many as I need. back up. Okay, the next feature in Silhouette Designer Edition is the nesting feature. This will come in handy if you need to get as many images onto your work surface as many times as you possibly can. It's going to fit them all on there. So let's go ahead and duplicate it as if we were making several of these images. They can be stacked, they just can't be grouped for this to work. So I'm going to select all my images. Your nesting tool is this icon over here that looks like two interlocking fingers, two interlocking hands. To start off, you either want to use your cut area, which is your cutting surface, or if you have a shape you need to fit it onto, you'll use the selected shape, which we will show in a minute. And I want only the shape selected on the media. If I have a shape off of here, that item will not nest. Your padding is how close your images will be together and your rotations are how many times it will turn to factor in the best possible way. Sometimes turning it too much won't work and sometimes turning it too little is not enough. So you just kind of have to play around. So let's just try a padding of one, which is the closest you can get, with just two rotations. There you go. How easy is that? If I had had images off of here and I did not have the select media selected, the only shapes on media selected. It would grab every image in your surrounding area. So make sure that anything that is off to the side that maybe you don't want, make sure that this button is selected. If you mean to grab everything, that's great. It will grab them all and put them on there. You can adjust the rotations with this slider, but if you do this, you will have to select your images again and it will start rotating different ways. So the next feature of it is if you use a selected shape. This will come in handy, especially for the PicScan mat. If you have your PicScan mat and you have a funny shaped piece of paper or vinyl or whatever surface you're working on, you can actually scan it in and you will see it in real time. We won't show you with the PicScan mat today, so I will just mimic a weird shape. So we will just create a super weird shape. This would just be like a scrap of vinyl maybe you've cut out. There we go. That's just on your mat. So I can go over here, select the shape as my bounding shape. Now, I can't have this selected because none of my media or none of my shapes are on my media. So you'll have this once it's bounded in blue that is where it's going to send its focus to and then you can select your images and nest and it's going to fit them just within that shape if you have any extras or if they are too big let's make them just a little bit bigger all right and you do the same effect any images that will not fit in that it won't allow in there so it'll kind of kick them off so if the size doesn't matter to you and you're just new in a bunch of clouds or hearts or stars, you can go in and adjust that. But that is how the nesting feature works with the selected shape.